because this thing is super sweet. I don't know why they make so many things so sweet. And here's another thing. Now, I got this a long time ago. I, I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's Sobe, Sobe? Sobe drink. It's strawberry daiquiri. This thing is like hot pink color. And, and um, I got it by accident. I was at the bowling alley. I was trying to get water. And then my friend was talking to me. I pressed the wrong button and this pink drink came out. And I still have it to this day. It just it just reminds me of how, how horrible it is. Like why why are why are what? drinks like why are drinks hot pink? Yeah, it's crazy. So I just Good. leave it in the refrigerator as a reminder. It's like a of how, of, now. of how artificial some some drinks are and stuff, but people still drink it anyways. Yeah. Yeah, I have a you know every time I see Yo play now, I like go because it has the corn syrup in it. Uh huh. Uh huh. And after discovering that, why did why does my yogurt taste like? So delicious. Ice. It just tasted so. It's too sweet. You know, like ice this cream. Is, maybe this is just too sweetness is a reflection of our diet changes. Because I uh -huh. know the stuff I used to not taste so much. Like oatmeal, I taste. I eat it every day now, and I taste different things I never tasted before in oatmeal. And I can yeah. tell the difference. Like I notice when I put a little bit of spice in there. I notice flavor a little bit more since I've definitely moved far, far away from more yeah. prepared goods. Yeah. So when I when I'm sure I go next time I go to a restaurant, like especially one of my favorite restaurants, like a Chinese restaurant, the flavor the flavor just will just explode in my mouth because I would, being that that I haven't had flavors in a long time. <laughs> but I, I guess it's also because our taste bud is a lot more sensitive because we don't eat stuff that are so extreme, right? So even the very slightest taste, it'll, it'll be a lot to us. Thank you, Andy. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say in a, like a 12 minute speech. <laughs> 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 Taste yeah. buds are different. So, yeah. did you want to move? Did you want to move on to our inspiration of the day? Yeah, go ahead. What's your inspiration for the week? <laughs> oh, wait a second. Unless you, unless you were inspired today, you know. So I'm always inspired. I'm inspired by people working out. I'm inspired by you. I'm inspired by the fact that I feel better about myself. How I feel comp more, comp more and more confident with myself. Uh, but that's not what our inspiration today is. And before we get to the inspiration of the day, I do want to talk a little bit about our sponsor, Sticker. If you're trying to d design a website and you just don't know where to go and it's it just seems too difficult for you, let us recommend Sticker. They do a great job of basically making it easy for you to create a design, drag and drop around. Uh, definitely check out their site. They make website building very easy on you. We uh, really appreciate them for being our sponsor and supporting us in our mission. And so yes. Today I want... Sorry, Andy. You... Did you want to add any more to it? No, I'm just... I just wanted to say that on the website they have um, a test that you can – a trial that you can check out. So go ahead and check it out, and thank you, Sticker. Go ahead, Daniel. So a few weeks ago we talked about this, this guy named Will Aguero and his uh, and how he wanted to be on Biggest Loser, and he had this huge support group for him. For, for him from Rochester. Uh, unfortunately, I found out earlier this week, or maybe even last week, that the Biggest Loser people didn't pick him up. And I was, I was really disappointed, because I, I was excited for him. Uh, he's definitely trying to, to change his life. Um, so an update on that is, in, in the means of the competition, uh, the first time he talked to Biggest Loser, they said that it was a couple's Biggest Loser. So he actually hooked up with this girl named, uh, sorry, woman named Sherry. Sherry. Yeah. yeah and, and so they're now kind of a team. And since they weren't picked up, they decided, you know, we have this huge group. And I'm not, I'm not trying to put words in their mouth. It seems like, and this is all from their Facebook page, it seems like, you know, let's go ahead and make this life change ourselves. So since they found out, they've been going to the gym, working out. And Will, it sounds like, has lost at least 25 pounds. Mm -hmm. and I think his starting weight was 580. I'm kind of fudgy on that, fuzzy on that. And... Sherry has lost about 11. So good, good going, guys. You guys are – that's awesome. It's great to see you're getting started. It's great to see you have the support. I'm very happy for you guys. It sucks that Biggest Loser didn't pick you up. Um, if anybody else wants to go check out their site or check out their Twitter or their Facebook, I did put the link on the bottom. It's team-will-power.com. It's a play on his name, of course, which is I always think is funny. Yeah. Uh, go go and support him uh, like you support us. It's – you know – it. There's so many people in the world that need help. Uh, 
when everybody when we hear when I know when I hear from my family family and friends when I hear from other people you know good job it just helps keep me go keep keep me going yeah Andy, do you have anything to say about about Will yeah about Will I'm just wondering why they didn't get um, on Biggest Loser but I mean regardless of that it's pretty cool that even without Biggest Loser they're still gonna go on with it and they still have that big gigantic support that they have with them so. Yeah, good job on the weight loss, and I can't wait to see how they're going to do, like, let's say, six months down the line, right? It's going to change their life completely. They'll be taking us down. <laughs> yeah, we really? might have to change our domain name. <laughs> yeah, we'll, Andy we'll versus like... Dano versus Will versus Sherry. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but, but for me, um, I actually had dinner with a friend uh, a couple days ago. Um, you remember Nicole, right? She used to leave a lot of good feedbacks and support still, and inspiration to our feedback. videos. What are you talking about? Used to leave great feedback. She still leaves great <laughs> feedback. Yeah, that's right. That's right. She still leaves. Um, but I was uh, talking to her in person over dinner, and she was just telling me about how she's at her ideal weight. And, um, and one of the biggest things that she's seen is that she's cut out um, – soda completely the only thing that she drinks is water and i remember i made a bet with her a while back is that if i drink soda then i will owe her 50 bucks and if she drinks soda she'll owe me 50 bucks so i haven't i haven't touched soda in a long time and she haven't touched it in a long time and she could just feel the difference she says that every time she meets her friends and family that haven't seen her for, for a while they notice how much more energetic she is, how much more happier she is, and how much um, her – just her uh, skin, her skin is. It looks much healthier and it glows and, and everything. So she said, wow, it seems like just cutting off the soda alone and cutting off alcohol and stuff like that made such a huge difference. You know, even though she isn't going to the gym that much and she's trying to eat better and all that, but she, she – yeah, she cut away a, a lot of uh, fast food too. But she said just the soda alone, it's made a huge, huge difference. So, yeah. Dude, soda, I wish I could say that. Would, that was. I mean, I, I dropped soda a long time ago. I, we've talked about it before on the program. Uh, but it yeah. does make a huge difference in your life. It's, it's good for you. Uh, before I forget, I also want to thank Tiffany. She also leaves and keeps leaving great comments on our, on our, yeah. on our blog post. Which, you know, everybody who doesn't know, you can actually click on our site when you go to andyversusdanner.com, you can actually click on the videos by themselves underneath and leave comments on each video. So I would love to hear, we would love to hear feedback on any of our videos. Uh, I do have to kind of apologize. The last video we posted, number seven, the audio is a little, a little poor. Mm -hmm. I, I even thought about maybe not posting it, but you know, I want to get it out there. I want people to hear it. It's, but again, we're sorry. And this, this podcast obviously is going to have improvements to it. So thank you for sticking with us on this. Yeah. So yeah, and and the comments on under each video is pretty cool too, right? Cuz it kind of gives us feedback and lets oh, us yeah. know on you know, what and what people think about everything. So yeah. It's inspiring. Yeah. Keep so us going. Yeah, so so stuff like that just 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 visiting Nicole and and just talking to her about this and that and how how she's lost weight and she feels much better and all that. It's just uh it's an inspiration all in itself. So, yeah. And sorry, guys, it sounds like uh, we won't get to the apps this week. I was going to talk about Indomondo and Runkeeper, but we'll save it for another day. Again, I apologize. Just ran out of time. Uh, if you guys use these applications, I would love to hear your feedback on them. Maybe get, you can add that to our next show, get the, some comments from the mailbag, comment bag. I don't even know what you call it. I guess you can use the mailbag as the, the saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Andy. You know, speaking of them contacting us, <laughs> how do they do that? All right, if you want to contact us or watch our videos or leave comments and all that, go ahead and go to our main site. Uh, oh, uh, you, you can send us uh, an email at andyvsdano at gmail dot com. Send us anything. Send us letters. Send us anything that inspire you. Uh, ask us any questions you want, and you can also go to. Andy, handle, 
Andy vs. Dano. That's our Twitter. Go ahead and uh, tweet us anything. We usually do our daily updates or hourly updates on there about what we're doing. And the very last thing, you can go to our website, andyvsdano.com, and check out all our videos and leave comments and all that. So, yeah. Um, again, this is Andy and Dano. And I just want to thank you for watching another episode of Andy vs. Dano webcast. Thank you. Thank you.